let's look at task 2C from the 2024 NAT5 Admin IT paper. We've been asked to open up the spreadsheet monthly income, which I've done. We have to follow instructions and create a bar chart. And later on, we're going to have to print off in value view and a second copy in formula view. So I'm going to open up the spreadsheet fully and we can have a look and see what we need to do. Now, how do we work out the percent increase between March and April? The first thing to do is work out what is the difference in income as a value. So in cell C4, if I do equals April value in B4 minus March, OK, and I click on enter, it's telling me that um, the, the income has gone up by £18,812 between March and April. How do we turn that value into a percentage? Are we comparing it against the March value or are we comparing it against the April value? Well, we're comparing it against the March value. How much has it gone up since March? It's gone up by 18,812. What is that as a percentage? So to finish this formula off, if I click into cell C4 and I look at my formula bar at the top there, so that's me worked out the difference. If I just pop a wee bracket around that, that means it can work out the difference before we compare it to the March value. So divide by the March value. So the formula is B4 minus A4. That works out the income increase as a value. And divide by A4, which is the March income, will turn that into a percentage. Click on Enter. And you'll see, well, in fact, what you'll see right now in cell C4, it hasn't turned it into a percentage. It's showing as currency um, with no decimal places. So if I go, I'm still in C4, and instead of um, choosing currency, I just click down there and change it into an actual percent, 14.98. And the question did ask that we format it to two decimal places. So that is how we work out the percent increase. Everything has been formatted correctly, so I'm feeling quite confident now that I can just delete off the two notes before I do the, the, the chart. Now, the way that I would insert a chart would be to highlight the data and go to insert and go to recommended charts. Now, the question asks for a bar chart. The SQA solution is accepting a bar or a column chart. I personally think the column chart, the clustered column looks better. So that is the one that I'm going to use. Click on OK and that has brought it in. That's really all we need apart from a chart title. So what I could actually do is I could just highlight the chart title I've got already, just do Control C to copy, all right, click into title, and I could just do Control V to paste it in. Or maybe you could, you could type it fully as well, but that's the quickest way to bring it in. So for this task, all we need is to show the chart in that way. So for printing, we've got to um, print a copy of the um, income and value view on landscape, grid lines only, make sure the chart and figures are visible. So let's just do that. First of all, page layout, let's just switch it to landscape. Let's highlight the data, let's make sure it's all going to fit. Let's just try that there. So I'm, I'm highlighting the selection, file, print. I can see that's on page 101, so that would actually work. And it's asking for grid lines only. Either go back and go up to page layout and select grid lines that way, and then go back and then print it off like that. Or you could go to page setup and you could select the grid lines through the sheet and make sure that has been ticked. But either way, there is the first printout the value view where you can actually see the, the chart. For the formula view, now it's interesting when you um, switch it to the formula view there, you see that the, the graph uh, really does get stretched out quite a bit. The SQA solution is not asking for the graph to be in this particular printout, but we certainly need to show the formula that we did to work out the percent increase. So for that one there, it's to get printed off in um, formula view, landscape with grid lines and row and column headings, ensure the formula is visible. So for this one, I would actually just, just highlight the, the, the wee bit of information there. 
I've got to show headings. I'm happen to be in the page layout anyway, so I'll click on the, the headings. The orientation, we're still on landscape. And if I go to file and then print and print selection, remember, that's only what I've highlighted, then that again is page one of one and everything's there that we need for the second printout. So that's how we do task 2C.